Cape Verde, KAPV Road, or Cabo Verde, Cabo Verde, K, officially the Republic of Cabo Verde, is an island country spanning an archipelago of ten volcanic islands in the Central Atlantic Ocean, located 570 kilometers off the coast of Western Africa. The islands cover a combined area of slightly over 4,000 square kilometers. The Cape Verde archipelago was uninhabited until the 15th century, when Portuguese explorers discovered and colonized the islands, establishing the first European settlement in the tropics. Ideally located for the Atlantic slave trade, the islands grew prosperous throughout the 16th and 17th centuries, attracting merchants, privateers, and pirates. The end of slavery in the 19th century led to economic decline and emigration. Although Cape Verde gradually recovered as an important commercial center and stopover for shipping routes, since independence, Cape Verde has been a stable representative democracy and remains one of the most developed and democratic countries in Africa. Lacking natural resources, its developing economy is mostly service-oriented, with a growing focus on tourism and foreign investment. Its population of around 512,000 is mostly of mixed European and African heritage and predominantly Roman Catholic. Reflecting the legacy of Portuguese rule, a sizable diaspora community exists across the world, slightly outnumbering inhabitants on the islands. Historically, the name Cape Verde has been used in English for the archipelago and, since independence in 1975, for the country. In 2013, the Cape Verdean government determined that the Portuguese designation Cabo Verde would henceforth be used for official purposes, such as at the United Nations, even in English contexts. Etymology The name of the country stems from the nearby Cap Verde on the Senegalese coast which in its turn was originally named Cabo Verde when it was sighted by Portuguese explorers in 1444, a few years before the islands were discovered. On 24 October 2013 it was announced at the United Nations that the official name should no longer be translated into other languages. Instead of Cape Verde, the designation Republic of Cabo Verde is to be used. History before the arrival of Europeans, the Cape Verde Islands were uninhabited. The islands of the Cape Verde archipelago were discovered by Genoza and Portuguese navigators around 1456. According to Portuguese official records, the first discoveries were made by Genoa-born Antonio de Noloi, who was afterwards appointed governor of Cape Verde by Portuguese King Afonso V. Other navigators mentioned as contributing to discoveries in the Cape Verde archipelago are Diogo Gomez, Diogo Diaz, Diogo Afonso and the Italian Alvisa Cadamosto. In 1462, Portuguese settlers arrived at Santiago and founded a settlement they called Ribera Grande. Ribera Grande was the first permanent European settlement in the tropics. In the 16th century, the archipelago prospered from the Atlantic slave trade. Pirates occasionally attacked the Portuguese settlements. Sir Francis Drake, an English corsair privateering under a letter of marque granted by the English crown, twice sacked the capital Ribera Grande in 1585. After a French attack in 1712, the town declined in importance relative to nearby Praia, which became the capital in 1770. Decline in the slave trade in the 19th century resulted in an economic crisis. Cape Verde's early prosperity slowly vanished. However, the island's position astride mid-Atlantic shipping lanes made Cape Verde an ideal location for resupplying ships. Because of its excellent harbor, Mindelo became an important commercial center during the 19th century. Diplomat Edmund Roberts visited Cape Verde in 1832. With few natural resources and inadequate sustainable investment from the Portuguese, 
The citizens grew increasingly discontented with the colonial masters, who nevertheless refused to provide the local authorities with more autonomy. In 1951, Portugal changed Cape Verde's status from a colony to an overseas province in an attempt to blunt growing nationalism. In 1956, Amilcar Cabral and a group of fellow Cape Verdeans and Guineans organized the clandestine African Party for the Independence of Guinea and Cape Verde. It demanded improvement in economic, social and political conditions in Cape Verde and Portuguese Guinea and formed the basis of the two nations' independence movement. Moving its headquarters to Conakry, Guinea in 1960, the PAIGC began an armed rebellion against Portugal in 1961. Acts of sabotage eventually grew into a war in Portuguese Guinea that pitted 10,000 Soviet bloc-supported PAIGC soldiers against 35,000 Portuguese and African troops. By 1972, the PAIGC controlled much of Portuguese Guinea despite the presence of the Portuguese troops, but the organization did not attempt to disrupt Portuguese control in Cape Verde. Portuguese Guinea declared independence in 1973 and was granted de jure independence in 1974. A budding independence movement, originally led by Amilcar Cabral, assassinated in 1973, passed on to his half-brother Luis Cabral and culminated in independence for the archipelago in 1975. Independence following the April 1974 revolution in Portugal, the PAIGC became an active political movement in Cape Verde. In December 1974, the PAIGC and Portugal signed an agreement providing for a transitional government composed of Portuguese and Cape Verdeans. On 30 June 1975, Cape Verdeans elected a National Assembly which received the instrument of independence from Portugal on July 5, 1975. In the late 1970s and 1980s, most African countries prohibited South African airways from overflights but Cape Verde allowed them and became a centre of activity for the airline's flights to Europe and the United States. Immediately following the November 1980 coup in Guinea-Bissau, relations between Cape Verde and Guinea-Bissau became strained. Cape Verde abandoned its hope for unity with Guinea-Bissau and formed the African Party for the Independence of Cape Verde. Problems have since been resolved and relations between the countries are good. The PAICV and its predecessor established a one-party system and ruled Cape Verde from independence until 1990, responding to growing pressure for pluralistic democracy. The PAICV called an emergency congress in February 1990 to discuss proposed constitutional changes to end one-party rule. Opposition groups came together to form the Movement for Democracy in Prior in April 1990. Together, they campaigned for the right to contest the presidential election scheduled for December 1990. The one-party state was abolished 28 September 1990, and the first multi-party elections were held in January 1991. The MPD won a majority of the seats in the National Assembly, and MPD presidential candidate Antonio Mascara and Haas Monteiro defeated the PAICV's candidate with 73.5% of the votes. Legislative elections in December 1995 increased the MPD majority in the National Assembly. The party won 50 of the National Assembly's 72 seats. A February 1996 presidential election returned President Monteiro to office. Legislative elections in January 2001 returned power to the PAICV, with the PAICV holding 40 of the National Assembly seats, MPD 30, and Party for Democratic Convergence and Labour and Solidarity Party won each. In February 2001, the PAICV supported presidential candidate Pedro Perez defeated former MPD leader Carlos Vega by only 13 votes. Politics. Cape Verde is a stable semi-presidential representative democratic republic. 
It is among the most democratic nations in the world, ranking 31st position in the world, according to the 2014 Democracy Index. The Constitution, adopted in 1980 and revised in 1992, 1995 and 1999, defines the basic principles of its government. The President is the head of state and is elected by popular vote for a five-year term. The Prime Minister is the head of government and proposes other ministers and secretaries of state. The Prime Minister is nominated by the National Assembly and appointed by the President. Members of the National Assembly are elected by popular vote for five-year terms. Three parties now hold seats in the National Assembly, PAICV, MPD, and Cape Verdean Independent Democratic Union. The judicial system consists of a Supreme Court of Justice, whose members are appointed by the President, the National Assembly, and the Board of the Judiciary, and regional courts. Separate courts hear civil, constitutional, and criminal cases. Appeal is to the Supreme Court. Foreign Relations Cape Verde follows a policy of non-alignment and seeks cooperative relations with all friendly states. Angola, Brazil, the People's Republic of China, Libya, Cuba, France, Germany, Portugal, Spain, Senegal, Russia, Luxembourg, and the United States maintain embassies in Praia. Cape Verde is actively interested in foreign affairs, especially in Africa. Cape Verde has bilateral relations with some Lusophone nations and holds membership in a number of international organizations. It also participates in most international conferences on economic and political issues. Since 2007, Cape Verde has a special partnership status with the EU, under the Cotonou Agreement, and might apply for special membership. In 2011 Cape Verde ratified the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court. Military The military of Cape Verde consists of a coast guard and an army. 0.7% of the country's GDP was spent on the military in 2005. International recognition Cape Verde is often praised as an example among African nations for its stability and developmental growth despite its lack of natural resources. Among other achievements, it has been recognized with the following assessments. Geography the Cape Verde Archipelago is located in the Atlantic Ocean, approximately 570 kilometers off the coast of West Africa, near Senegal, the Gambia, and Mauritania, and is part of the Macaronesia eco-region. It lies between latitudes 14 degrees and 18 degrees north, and longitudes 22 degrees and 26 degrees west. The country is a horseshoe-shaped cluster of 10 islands and 8 islets that constitute an area of 4,033 square kilometers. The islands are spatially divided into two groups, the Barlavento Islands. Santo Antão, Sal Vicente, Santa Luzia, São Nicolau, Sal, Boa Vista, and the Sotavento Islands, Mayo, Santiago, Fogo, Brava. The largest island, both in size and population, is Santiago, which hosts the nation's capital, Praia. The principal agglomeration in the archipelago, three are fairly flat, sandy, and dry, the others are generally rockier with more vegetation. Physical geography and geology Geologically, the islands, covering a combined area of slightly over 4,033 square kilometers, are principally composed of igneous rocks, with volcanic structures and pyroclastic debris comprising the majority of the archipelago's total volume. The volcanic and plutonic rocks are distinctly basic. The archipelago is a soda-alkaline petrographic province, with a petrologic succession similar to that found in other Macaronesian islands. Magnetic anomalies identified in the vicinity of the archipelago indicate that the structures forming the islands date back 125 to 150 million years. The islands themselves date from 8 million to 20 million years. The oldest exposed rocks occurred on Mayo and northern peninsula of Santiago and a 128 to 131 million year old pillow lavas. The first stage of volcanism in the islands began in the early Miocene, and reached its peak at the end of this period. 
When the islands reached their maximum sizes, historical volcanism has been restricted to the island of Fogo. The origin of the island's volcanism has been attributed to a hot spot associated with bathymetric swell that formed the Cape Verde Rise. The rise is one of the largest protuberances in the world's oceans, rising 2.2 kilometers in a semicircular region of 1,200 square kilometers, associated with a rise of the geoid and elevated surface heat flow. Most recently erupting in 2014, Pico do Fogo is the largest active volcano in the region. It has a 8 km diameter caldera, whose rim is 1,600 m altitude and an interior cone that rises to 2,829 m above sea level. Extensive salt flats are found on Sal and Mayo, on Santiago, Santo Antão, and São Nicolau. Arid slopes give way in places to sugarcane fields or banana plantations spread along the base of towering mountains. Ocean cliffs have been formed by catastrophic debris landslides. According to the president of Nauru, Cape Verde has been ranked the eighth most endangered nation due to flooding from climate change. Climate Cape Verde's climate is milder than that of the African mainland, because the surrounding sea moderates temperatures on the islands and cold Atlantic currents produces an arid atmosphere around the archipelago. Conversely, the islands do not receive the upwellings that affect the West African coast, so the air temperature is cooler than in Senegal. But the sea is actually warmer because the orographic relief of some islands, such as Santiago with steep mountains, cover it with rich woods and luxuriant vegetation where the humid air condenses and soak the plants, rocks, soil, logs, moss, etc. On the higher islands and somewhat wetter islands, exclusively in mountainous areas, like Santo Antão Island, the climate is suitable for the development of dry monsoon forest and laurel forest as this vegetation average daily high temperatures range from 26 degrees Celsius in February to 31 degrees Celsius in September. Cape Verde is part of the Sahelian Arid Belt, with nothing like the rainfall levels of nearby West Africa. It does rain irregularly between August and October, with frequent brief but heavy downpours. A desert is usually defined as terrain that receives less than 250 mm of annual rainfall. Sal's total of confirms this classification. Most of the year's rain falls in September. Sal, Boa Vista and Mayo have a flat landscape and arid climate. The remaining ones are generally rockier and have more vegetation. Because of the infrequent occurrence of rainfall the overall landscape is not particularly green. The archipelago can be divided into four broad ecological zones, arid, semi-arid, subhumid and humid. According to altitude and average annual rainfall ranging from 200 mm in the arid areas of the coast to more than 1,000 mm in the humid mountain. Most rainfall precipitation is due to condensation of the ocean mist. In some islands, as Santiago, the wetter climate of the interior and the eastern coast contrasts with the drier one in the south, southwest coast. Praia, on the southeast coast, is the largest city of the island and the largest city and capital of the country. Because of their proximity to the Sahara, most of the Cape Verde Islands are dry, but on islands with high mountains and farther away from the coast. By orography, the humidity is much higher, providing a rainforest habitat, although much affected by the human presence. Northeastern slopes of high mountains often receive a lot of rain while southwest slopes do not. These Umbria areas are identified with cool and moisture. Western hemisphere-bound hurricanes often have their early beginnings near the Cape Verde Islands. These are referred to as Cape Verde-type hurricanes. These hurricanes can become very intense as they cross warm Atlantic waters away from Cape Verde. The average hurricane season has about two Cape Verde-type hurricanes, which are usually the largest and most intense storms of the season because they often have plenty of warm open ocean over which to develop before encountering land. The five largest Atlantic tropical cyclones on record have been Cape Verde-type hurricanes. 
Most of the longest-lived tropical cyclones in the Atlantic Basin are Cape Verde hurricanes. The islands themselves have only been struck by hurricanes twice in recorded history, once in 1892, and again in 2015 by Hurricane Fred, the easternmost hurricane ever to form in the Atlantic. Biom Cape Verde's isolation has resulted in the islands having a number of endemic species, particularly bird and reptiles, many of which are endangered by human development. Endemic birds include Alexander's swift, Bourne's heron, the Razo lark, the Cape Verde warbler, and the Iago sparrow. The islands are also an important breeding area for seabirds including the Cape Verde shearwater. Reptiles include the Cape Verde giant gecko. Administrative divisions Cape Verde is divided into 22 municipalities and subdivided into 32 parishes based on the religious parishes that existed during the colonial period.